to RC and today we will be learning uh, a new thing uh, in the last in the previous class we have learned how to use variable so today also we will be using variables in a very different way to learn a new concept so today we will be learning how to find a area and a perimeter of any shape like for example rectangle triangle or circle okay so let me share my screen to make you understand the things okay is my screen visible to you so in the last class we have learned how to make a variable and how to add it so in today's class we will be learning how to add little more about uh, variables how to add more variables in the last class we have added only one variables and today we will be adding two more variables to make you understand okay so here we'll go to the variables so i have taken two variables like today we will be finding out the area of a rectangle so before going to that like we know the formula right what is the area of a rectangle the area of a rectangle is length into height right or length into width like uh, if you take uh, if you take a rectangle like this okay uh, the shape is not perfectly so if you take so if this one is the length then this one is the width then if length into width is, is equal to the area okay or so similarly the perimeter is what like for example p is equal to, we will learn also how to find out the perimeter perimeter is equal to what 2 into our l plus width and area is equal to what length into width right simple area of a rectangle is equal to this and this okay so let me explain you how to do so first of all what we are going to do first we are going to take two variables one is length and one is width so i have taken two lengths like for example i have given a set like set length is equal to zero because we don't know like we are going to give the values right and the width we are going to take it so now what in the previous class we have learned what like how to ask so what you are going to do first we are going to ask what is the length of a rectangle then what we are going to set like anything will be asked over here so anything like if you write 2 i have given your 2 so it will write 2 then what it is going to set our length is equal to answer how we are going to answer like we have to go to the sensing and there you are going to find out the answer block will be there and in there also we will find this ask assessment pen and similarly we will going to ask what the width okay and then what i have taken here is that simple like what is this green color i'm going to explain you green color is the operators so basically operators means like let me click here like for example operators so if i see here operators means adding subtracting and division equal to or greater than or smaller these all are the mathematical components we are going to find over here so simply what I have taken here is that let me explain you how I have written. This is this is simple, right? We are going to set like this one. You can arrange it like this also and like this also down to down also you can add it. So let me explain how, how I have done here. So what you are going to do? This girl is going to say, okay, like the area is what? Okay. So what I have taken here, let, let's go to the clue. Go to the say for two seconds or we can increase it for 10 second okay 10 second let it be like if i click here it will say hello let's see like what like it is asking you right what is the length then what will be like that it will going to ask okay now what i've given here is that go to the operator if you scroll down here there is one written a block called as join okay join means what do you meaning of join like join here we are going to write it area area so join means what the joining answer will be at one point okay then what is what is the length we are going to add it right? we are going to multiply it right multiply means here we got the operator here multiplication star mark 
just bring and dark. So what we are going to multiply? Length into width, right? So go to the operators, just drag this one and drop it here and similarly just drag it and drop it here. Okay, simple. What we have got? Like area equal to, we can write it. What is going to say? Area equal to, sorry, area equal to, area equal to length into width. Okay. So let me, let me check like it's working or not. So what we have taken? Let me revise. We have taken two variables. One is length and one is width. Then what is going to take? You are going to ask hmm, to us, right? We are going to feed it like we are going to give the values so it is going to ask us the computer is going to ask us then what is the length and then what is the width then what i have given here is that area of a rectangle okay let's see for example let's see okay so give a value for example let's let me take the length as eight okay then you are going to enter or we can click here anything Okay, see the value, it's overwritten over there also, it is written length. Then what is going to here? What is going to here? Then we are going to write it what? The width. Let, let us take the width as uh, 10. Anything you can take it, okay. So what is going to answer? Like 8 into 10, right? That means 80, it should be the answer. Let's see, it's saying you see, area equal to 80. Understood? How it is done so like if you see here like uh, for example like keep it over here keep it over here because when it is asking you the question see for example now you see what is the see how it is asking what is the length of a rectangle so give it here like two let's make it then give a enter then it is going to ask you again what is the width give it 5 and what will be the answer 10 right it's saying you okay it's saying your area is 10 similarly if you are going to find the area of a square area of a square means what area of a square how to find area of a square like if you uh, what is the area of a square how to find out the area of a square like for example let's let's draw a let's draw a square okay for example let's draw a square now it's good right okay so square means like if you what will be the square area like if this one is the side s and this will be side s area means both the sides are same right so this means area is equal to what equal to s square like s into s yes or no similarly just just change the name just uh, write it here area of a square area of a area of a square right okay. similarly here you what you are going to write it So here you can make another side, right? Side make it one variable. Okay. So area of a length and width are the same, right? So here we can write it. Uh, so see here we have taken one side. Okay. So if you, you can change it to the side. Because side is same, right? So you just wait a second. So what you have taken here is length. Let, let me write it again here. Okay. So what you are going to do? Set here. Let's take it side. Okay. So it's going to ask you, right? To ask you means sensing. So it's going to ask you what is the let me write it here. What is the side of the square okay square then what we are going to do set right we are going to set 
simple set uh, like we are going to set it right set what the answer right go to the sensing find out here and you need to change it remember to change this one okay then what you are going to do say right say what the area so go like make it for 10 second and what you are going to do go to the operators bring join over here then multiply what you are going to multiply side into side that means what go to the side into what is the side right simple yes or no wait a second Just keep aside here this one. We'll use it. So what I have taken here? Side. Then what is the side? Then what you are going to do? Side into side. Right. Let's see. Let's see. Start. Okay. So what is the side? Let me say you for example 5. Then 5 into 5. The answer should be 25. Let's see. See. Oh, it's saying Apple 25. Because your Apple is written here. So what is going? what you are going to do here is that area area equal to see like if i give you a 5 then enter 25 understood now let's find out what will be our rectangle perimeter perimeter means like the formula i have said you in the beginning also so just what you need to do is that just bring it here okay just remove this side okay a perimeter means what L means to multiply into length and addition right length into like what is the formula we have we have understood like what is the formula formula was what is the formula was like uh, like for example p equal to what length like P equal to what is the our formula was that perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus width right so let us learn how to do it so simple like here you can write it here perimeter in the place of area just write it peri perimeter equal to what will be the our operation will be like first it is going to addition right just bring it add what you are going to add length length plus width sorry you are going to add this one and what should be our it should be multiplied by with 2 right simple just bring it here formula is written 2 multiply into length into width so let's see so for example uh, let us take it as 8 our length and width let us take as 2 then what should be the our answer 20 right 8 plus 2 is 10 multiply by 2 20 right understood in similar way you need to show me how to find the perimeter of a square perimeter of a square means what 4 into all the sides just simple so here what you are going to do here is uh, thus remove this one just add this one and what we are going to do here is that simple this one this formula we are going to use only this one we just need to what side into sorry we are just multiplying right what will what should we have multiply by side simple just multiply by side how much like four okay let's do one thing variable let's add side and remove all see what is the area of a side like for example 5 i will take the answer should be what 20 i think see 4 into 5 understood so in similar way find out it's your homework how to find out the area of a 
circle and the circumference of a circle okay see you in the next class